Eye on MPI brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit this week. It is T E Lady Ada. What is Eye on MPI this week? This week's Eye on MPI is the T E Limbus uh, LTE GNSS cellular modem. Uh, looks like this little doohickey. This is a handy little device that you can use to add cellular data connectivity and geolocation to a single board computer or it's like a desktop computer, anything that has a USB port. Lembus, as you uh, you will know because you're um, a fantasy fan, is the Elvish way bread that yeah. uh, you only need to have a little bite um, to fill your stomach and is used by the hobbits as they travel through uh, the forest. And so uh, this is, a, like Lembus, this cellular modem will help you find your way because it's a geolocation device. Uh, and it's also very filling. Okay. So uh, what is this? Uh, it's a USB modem. Um, and if folks remember old style modems that would connect through your RS-232 port on your computer or your serial port and would um, tie into the phone line, and then you could use it to dial up and get internet access. This is just like that, but there's no phone line. It uses a cellular modem inside and the access to the data comes through USB. So you just plug into a USB port and it shows up as um, a serial device that then your operating system um, dials through and you need to have a SIM card. So you do need to have a SIM card with data access. It does come with one that you can activate. And then you can get um, LTE speeds, which are actually pretty fast. And this is designed specifically for use with um, single board computers like the Raspberry Pi, the Odroid, and the Asus Tinker, and NVIDIA Jetson Nano. Those are like four of the very popular single board computers. But you can use kind of anything with Debian or Ubuntu. And of course, it also does work with um, Mac or Windows or like non Raspbian style um, Linux development systems. Uh, so we opened one up and inside is a Quectel EC25. Um, and this is a this is the cellular and GNSS module. So, you know, we've covered Quectel before. Uh, they're experts at this. They make the modules, they get them certified so that they're um, legit to use on the network and they're you know, FCC and PTCRB. Uh, and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, don't worry about the EMI. Um, that's this is not going to be valid very soon. This is the um, LTE Cat4 modem. So you know you can get a fairly good data transfer up to uh, 150 megabits per second down, 50 megabits up. So maybe not for like streaming a lot of video, but definitely good enough for data transfer, IoT projects, sending images back and forth, uh, data chunks, and you know if you have you know, general purpose internet access that you need for your device. You, you know, you're used to Wi-Fi or Ethernet. You can now unplug and go anywhere without having to connect a hat or solder anything up to your Raspberry Pi. Um, there's a couple different um, modules in this family. The reason you might want to know the module is because you want to use the AT command set directly. Uh, you can download it from the Quectel website. Um, note that this is the AFXD data only version it just might be handy. And uh, this does come with a GNSS inside. So GPS, GLONASS, uh, Baidu, Galileo, and QZSS. Those are the different constellations available for um, tracking location around the world using you know, the GPS satellite system. And you know, even though, again, this is marketed towards single board computers, absolutely great for that. It'll also work with uh, general purpose Windows, Linux, or Mac. Um, on the other side of the module, when you open it up, um, there is, you know, you see the USB-C connector on the right, and then there's this power supply chip. There is a SIM card. It comes with a SIM card that you can activate. Uh, it's data only, and of course, you'll have to pay because it's, you know, um, it's a monthly subscription service for a SIM card. While the SIM card does come with it, it is removable. It's just a micro SD, uh, micro SIM. And so if you want to use your own SIM um, or, you you know, you're going... You know, abroad or whatever, and you want to use um, a different SIM card or like a SIM swapping system, you can just open it up. Once you open it, the warranty is void, but like I'm a hacker, so I like to know like, you know, is it possible to change it? It's not an eSIM, it's just a removable one. And um, what's interesting is in the top right there, that chip, the TE chip is, uh, sorry, the TI chip is a USB hub. Um, and that's interesting because inside it's actually two USB devices. I'll get to that in a moment. 
Um, so on the front, uh, of, so there's some fun design decisions that they made. Um, so I'd like to point them up. Once the activity LEDs uh, make up a TE logo, and it looks like really cool. There's uh, little light pipes that go through. So um, you know the activity and the connectivity uh, and power um, comes through um, these light pipes that you know it's like oh there's like a, a logo but it's actually not it's an indicator. Second, if you go back one. This um, you can kind of see it's a little shiny. It's conformally coated, which is which is nice. It's not, you know, waterproof or even weatherproof. But if you have to, you know, have it outside and there's some humidity, uh, you don't have to worry about it oxidizing as quickly. Um, I did notice a nice conformal coat. So they they spent a little bit of extra effort um, to make sure that this board is protected uh, for when you use it, say for um, digital signage that might have some exposure to the elements. Okay, and then uh, get down when we did this one. Um, so when you plug it in, you know, uh, of course you can use it on, on your Raspberry Pi, but I thought it'd be more informative to have it plugged in on my Windows computer. It does come up with three ports. Uh, there's the AT port, which is where you can send AT command sets if you're used to cellular mo uh, modems or pretty much any modem, you know that you use AT commands to send and receive data. So if you wanna do direct control, of the module, you can do it that way. The NMEA port is, as you expect, the GPS module, and that kind of pipes out NMEA sentences. And then the DM port is for um, data transfer. I think that's for the high-speed data transfer. When you're trying to get that 150 megabits per second, you wouldn't necessarily use the AT command port. Um, the other interesting thing that they did is, as I mentioned, that there is a USB hub chip in there. So that USB hub chip um is used to allow you to connect to both the cellular mod cellular module modem which gives you those three com ports and there's separately a usb key inside it's like a disk storage and this actually solves a very annoying problem of oh wow i want to put my device on the internet but i can't put my device on the internet because the drivers require me to download them from the internet so how do i get them um if you remember that from like wi-fi modules like before the drivers came with every operating system but for cellular modules especially for Raspberry Pi, it, the, the instructions for how to set them up are not built in. So this way, instead of you having to type in all these commands and, you know, and like memorize them, the SD card, uh, sorry, the SD card, the USB key that comes inside the module as part of that like second hub connected USB key has the um, code and instructions and shell scripts for you to install the, the modem directly on an ARM chip like, you know, nvidia odroid or raspberry pi so it's like you pop it in and you're like it mounts automatically you just run install te install.sh and it does it everything for you and you're like ready to go in under two minutes very fast um as mentioned there is a built-in sim card you can provision the sim uh by going to their uh sim provider and then of course here's the instructions for that usb modem it, again i was like what do you mean it just auto mounts and then i realized oh it's a usb key inside so that's kind of nice and uh great for asset tracking especially because it's got both cellular and it can drop down to uh, gprs or gsm but has cat um category 4 lte which is you know pretty much has almost complete coverage in the united states um the gps is really good quality so you can use that to locate devices and send the location over cellular or you can use it if you're like you know let's say you have a bunch of um, like not trucks things are moving but um machines that you're tracking and you want them to report who they are sometimes it's like you don't necessarily they don't necessarily go out with the firmware that tells them hey this is your unique identifier you can use the location instead so for example you know that you have a client you know in um augusta georgia you don't necessarily know, like if they moved around, the GNSS will tell you, hey, this is where your client is located. You can use that to identify the data um, instead of just relying on like the EMI or like a unique username or password. So I think useful for a lot of different products where you don't want to have to rely on Wi-Fi access because Wi-Fi passwords change all the time. Okay, and it is in stock at DigiKey. That's right. You can actually get them, which is pretty sweet. Um, and the price is, you know, less expensive than if you tried to like roll your own using the modules. So you get the SIM, you get the casing, you get the USB key storage, USB hub, um, power supply, everything's ready to go in this like adorable little case. Good. Okay. Um, and then we're going to play this video 
and then we'll see you on the other side for new products. Get reliable speeds with TE Connectivity's Lembus LTE GNSS USB modem ran on an LTE CAT4 network with GPS tracking capabilities. From consumer products, industrial automation, engineering education, and maker projects, the Lembus LTE GNSS modem prioritizes your next big IoT project. The Lembus is designed for use on a wide array of single board computers utilizing ARM chipsets and Linux OS. The Lembus also includes plug-and-play operations, making LTE and GPS connections ready after plugging in and a single command on terminal for easy installation. The Lembus has a built-in Pod Group SIM card, which can be activated using the Pod Group's website, enabling connection to the AT&T network, getting data connection subscription you can rely on. The device also functions as a portable USB drive, allowing for extra storage capabilities and convenient installation. Get a wide array of project design choices with flexible connection options and small device footprint capabilities, giving you the freedom of placement without obstructing adjacent USB ports. TE's Lembos LTE GNSS modem is your convenient all-in-one package for your next big IoT project. The only limit is your imagination. It's ready to connect your world. Hi, I'm MPI.